Thanksgiving Wednesday, and we have Polly Frost as a repeat offender on the show. <laughs> How are you, Lady Polly? I'm great, actually. So and what's going on with you? I'm touring my show, Bad Role Models, and what I learned from them, which you saw. Oh, I love that show. It's Thank so you. brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. It is so brilliant because... Do you think you learn more from bad role models than good role models? Yes, I do. I do so too. And it's like you learn more from making a mistake than not making a mistake. Absolutely. Right? That's what I've been told. I've been told that so many times. Absolutely. And the thing is, we fret so much today about everybody having to be a really good role model. And that's the only way that you can learn from people. And that's just not true. A lot of the people that I talk about in my show are people who follow their passion. They didn't. Oh, they weren't always perfect. They made mistakes, and they showed me their humanity, they showed me how to do things. I mean, one of the people, as you know, I talk about is my alcoholic, right. chain-smoking, horseback riding. horse riding teacher, and she taught me about how to follow your passion in life, and how to keep it alive. I love her. I loved her, too. I know, I, I wish I got to know her like you did. You know, or I, but I feel like I did through you, so... It, it, and you have people, people like that, right? bringing these people, though, to life. And you're a one-woman show with no props, no hoopla, yeah. just you. But these stories are so colorful. Like, they definitely shine just by you telling them. Thank you. I mean, that's, for me, is the thing that really fascinates me right now, is getting in touch with the oral tradition of the simplicity of talking about things that I think we really need to talk about. I mean, I grew up in the 60s and the 70s. And I think for a lot of younger generations, I'm no role model, but I think for a lot of younger generations... But you are an inspiration. What's the difference between a role model and an inspiration? Because um, I, think that, I think that the thing about role models is that parents think that their kids need these absolutely perfect role models. I mean, today, if my writing teacher would get so wrapped on the knuckles, right, for being, I mean, how dare she be? Yeah, everything's so politically correct now, right? Right, and all the things that, that she did, and as well as a lot of the other people that I talk about, and I think that we've gone so far in the other direction from what I grew up with, which was people really misbehaving and people doing, trying to find their way. But I think when I look at it, I see people following their passion, and I think that's just so important. Cool. Well, on this day, do you mind if we just go over what happened on December 11th? I think I we should. should. Excellent. This is the day, and it's a very sad day. There, you know, we celebrate angels. The major angel in the room right now is the 46-year-old son of convicted fraud king Bernard Madoff killed himself in a Manhattan apartment in, that was 2010. Can you believe that three years ago his son wow. committed suicide? Wow, wow. Time moves on. The only, the craziest thing is the guy's name was Madoff. That is the thing that blows my mind more right, than anything. Right, yeah. He made off, but yes. then he didn't, you know, and that's so sad. So. For the sun, I feel I feel for that kid. I hope you're watching and you're in the room with us today. Uh, I just want to do these real quick today. This is another one that's pretty amazing. Muhammad Ali's 61st and last fight, losing to Trevor Burbick, wow. was this day in history. Um, how sad to go out with a lose, but right, you know right. he is the greatest, so right. it doesn't really matter, right? Right. Um, a computer store owner in Sacramento, California, was killed by a package bomb. On this day. Oh right, was that God. was that the Unabomber? Or was that, that was in uh, I don't know. It was eighty five. I don't know, but that sucks, man. Can you imagine? That's yeah. not a good thing. Yeah. Uh, it's the day that Zimbabwe uh, turned into Zimbabwe from Rhodesia. I lived in London then, and that was like news like crazy. Like I feel so a part of that day. I remember Rhodesia was turning into Zimbabwe. It was such big news in England because. That's yeah. how they. That's who they got their independence from. Yeah. Six masked men bound ten employees at a Lufthansa cargo area at New York Kennedy Airport and made off. There's that word again. Made <laughs> off with five point eight million in cash oh, and jewelry on this day. See, isn't that interesting? Yeah. It's on the same day made off committed suicide. Yeah. Wow. They made off. See, that's, that is just, there are no coincidences in life, I swear to God. Beatles, Apple Music signs its first group, and they were called Grapefruit oh, on this day. Oh, wow. Nobody ever heard of the Grapefruits, right? <laughs> it's also the day that Elvis Presley's Blue Hawaiian album went to number one and stayed number one for 20 weeks. I don't remember that album, do you? I sure do. You did? I'm older than What you. songs were on it? Do you remember? 
God, I don't remember the songs. I just remember you. Remember the Blue Hawaiian? I want to check it out. Elvis. I was never a big Elvis fan. Really? I know that sounds like okay. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. You were little. Please, Mr. Postman by the Marvelettes was released on this day. Um, what else? Joe DiMaggio announced his baseball retirement on this day. I wonder if he was with Marilyn that day or not. But <laughs> Hank Williams begins to record on Sterling label. UNICEF was established on this day. Yeah. The New York Giants won the NFL championship on this day. Uh, remember that, Giants? I uh, don't think they're doing that good this year. And King Edward VIII marries... Mrs. Wallace Simpson. Oh, I nice. love this. And he abdicated from the throne so he could marry her. Yeah. And then King George VI became the king. Good for you, King Edward the Ace. <laughs> I think that that is so, so royal of him to fall in love. I yeah. mean, he must have yeah. fallen in love. That was a huge thing. That's huge. Yeah. That, that was in, um, yeah. oh, only 1936. It wasn't even that long ago. So do you remember? You don't remember that. I do not remember that. <laughs> No, and That's birthdays like today. Hey, <laughs> birthdays. Um, wait, no, no, there's a little bit more. Josephine Baker goes to Amsterdam on this day. I love her because I share her birthday. Oh, okay. So I love Josephine Baker more than anything. And um, King Louis the Sixteenth went on trial and was accused of treason. And that's enough of that. Uh, <laughs> birthdays. Ryder Strong's birthday is today. He was, do you know who he was? Sean on Boy Meets World. My crush. Yes, everybody's crush. Nikki Six, the Motley Crue guitarist. Happy birthday. Jermaine Jackson. I don't know how I'm feeling about those Jackson brothers right now, truthfully. <laughs> Jermaine, you're not Michael. Get over it. You know? I'm telling you. They're... Everybody deserves a happy birthday. They but do. he's Jack's happy son. Birthday, he's Jack's son now. J-A-C-K-S-U-N. Oh, he changed his spelling? Jack's son. Good for him. Susan Seidelman. She directed Desperately Seeking Susan. Happy birthday to her. Christine Onassis. Oh, Christina Onassis. Mwah. Happy birthday to you. Terry Gar. We all love Terry Gar. Robert Pickett um, from the Monster Mash. He, he actually co-wrote the Monster Mash. Happy birthday to him. Linda Day George. You remember her from Mission Impossible? I, I actually do remember that. My dad loved that show. Donna Mills from Knott's Landing. God, she's a, she's a real Barbie doll. John F. Carey. We all know what happened to him. And um, David Gates, the vocalist from Bread. You remember Bread? I actually love I Wanna Make It With You. I loved that song when I was like three. I never knew what it meant, obviously, but it was such a pretty song. <laughs> Rita Moreno, good old Rita Moreno, and Big Mama Thornton, happy birthday. And Angels in the Room, we already said the Madoff guy. Um, Betty Page oh. passed away on this day. Oh, so did Sam Cooke. Sam Cooke was 29 wow. when he was shot to death. Wow. Mwah, thank you for being with us today. And Charles the Twelfth, the King of Sweden, was also shot to death on this day. Wow. God, violence, God. man. I know. Yeah, enough of that. We are all about guitars, not guns on this show. And Polly, let's go back to you now. That was a lot to deal with. So when do you go back on tour? Um, back in the winter out in Southern California, which is where my show is set. So yeah. I'm really looking forward to that. And what's your website so people can find you? Polyfrost.com. And um, what are you doing for New Year's? Oh, my God. I haven't thought of that yet. What are you doing? Well, we're having a New Year's Day party at Bunga's Den, which is on 14th between 6 but and 7. How are we doing New, New Year's Eve? I don't know. I, we're trying to figure it out. But uh, it is time for you to have our little, it is National Round Noodle Day. Would you like to have one of our treats? Absolutely. Do you have any good skeletons? There you go. Um, a good skeleton. Come who? Our who is fashionably late, of course. Come you. Can come. Who? This is Gia. Oh my goodness. Gia Jordan. Hello. Come. Hi. How Sorry. are you? Okay. Good to see you. Okay. That's okay. I do like to smoke ginger. Um, oh yeah, they're ginger. Um, Round noodle rings. Pasta. I'd love to smoke ginger round noodle rings. This is my skull. Oh, well, we have lighters over there. Oh, good. So oh, good. Do you light it up. You inhale? Yeah, I do inhale. I, I try to. It's, 
It's kind of weird, actually. That's interesting. It's very interesting. I thought it, yeah, yeah, Noodle Day. That's a really an interesting kind of thing. Exactly. Of course, we try to be interesting, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, back to your bad role models. When, when you decided to, like, create this show, what was the trigger? The trigger was, really, that I had been out at dinner with a young actress friend who was 30 years old. And she was going on and on, and I was trying to give her some advice, as we do, we who are older. And I looked over at her, and I realized that she was looking at me in that particular way that younger people look at you when you're older. And it's this look that says, you know, I think you're kind of awesome, but by your age, I'm going to be so much more successful, so much more famous, and lead so much greater a lifestyle. You mean like how my kids look at me? I don't know. <laughs> they do. And so it just triggered off this whole thing in me that I thought, wow, you know, I, I really had to go back and see who were the people and were they the people that were these good role models that obviously she was looking for me to be if she was going to listen to me. And I'm not. I'm not perfect. I don't... I'm not a good role model. So do you think, like, Miley Cyrus, you know, flipping the finger and doing all her crazy stuff, and Britney Spears when she was saying, I'm not a role model and wearing nothing, do you think that it's justifiable for them to just be themselves and when they're in the public that giant? Or do they, do they have the responsibility to be a role model for little girls that love them to be just like me? Oh, hell no. I don't think so. Do you really? No, I don't think so at all. I don't think think so at all. They're just kids that are just lucky in the right place at the right time, making a ton of money, and being their age. They're acting their age. And everyone prefers to be naked anyway. Yes. On the set. Yeah, Yeah. so like when these other people come out saying, like, you're being irresponsible to the youth, do you think they are? Do you think that the parents just need something to blame? If people are looking to rock stars for the way to live their life, they are pathetic. I, I mean, they well, there are some teachers that get in a lot of trouble too. I mean, if you read the papers, <laughs> <laughs> and there are some pretty bad role models. <laughs> and as for, parents aren't always the best. No, they're, they're not. That's true. Yeah, and then as for being naked, what was it Barry White said? I want you as you came into this world. Ah, which I take to be crying as a baby, but oh, I guess you naked. naked. <laughs> yeah, probably I right. Crying. Barry White, Barry White, there's nothing like a Barry White. Barry White, White. <laughs> I know, he's cool. So, um, yeah, so I, I don't know, I just think bad is good, actually, and who cares, right? I really think that people make, the people who make themselves out to be the good role models for the rest of us, I have lived in the media world, and here's the rule of thumb, the people who see themselves as good role models have the most messed up and miserable lives. You know, that's interesting. You know, I, I knew this guy that used to be like a, a therapist. Well, he was more than that. He was a forensic therapist in Philadelphia. And he used to, like, see if people were actually crazy or not to stand trial. And he used to always say, the people that think they're crazy are fine. It's the ones that do not think they are crazy at all. I Those are the ones are you crazy? I have to be. Yeah. 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 So he was like, those are the people that are fine. It's the ones that say, I am so not crazy. Those are the ones you worry about. So mm-hmm. it's almost like thinking like the good role models think they're so good right. that those are the ones to worry about. Right. And people who worry about their little girls mom themselves after Britney Spears. I mean... Come on. I mean, we had our rock stars. Did we follow ourselves off to them? Of course we did. And here we are today. We're doing fine. Are, you, are we? I don't yeah, know. we are, right? Yeah, we are. Push a button, Polly. Ooh, which one? There you go. There you go. So, um, where does this show start again when you when you start? In L.A., on? in the L.A. area, and um, so it's great to do it out there because people actually know the people I'm talking about. Right. Here, the whole thing. So that's really interesting. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's really fun. Wow. So, any last shout outs? Um, I made this jacket. Oh my gosh! Wow. Shut the fuck up. You made it. I you made that jacket. I designed and made it. Can you? Like yeah. turn around? I love this for yeah. How long did it take? Um, it took me. I love it. Is it just like fabric? Yes. Yeah, it's it's, it's meant to look like you partied too much the night before. It's and very Yeah, and you're stumbling out for a bloody Mary. 
this morning. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, but I love it. You added this collar? Yeah. I'm working with this designer. Yeah, I, I started taking design, clothing design lessons to get into a whole other kind of creativity. And I'm working amazing. with this amazing young clothing designer. And she shows me, you well, this design, we just start draping things and making them. And do you use a sewing machine? We use a sewing machine, but she's <laughs> amazing. She is oh amazing. That's beautiful. Yeah. Her name is Christine Banasek, and she's nice. got her own company. Yeah, she's amazing. Wow. Yeah. So I'm learning how to design. So what are you doing next? I made um, a skirt, which is kind of, it's a skirt that sits like this, and it's brocade on this side, and then it kind of flips out here. So maybe you'll wear that on New Year's. Yeah, maybe I'll wear that on New Year's, and, it's, and it kind of flips open, and then you can wear leggings and stuff. So. Wow. So should we look for your clothing line soon? <laughs> the Polly Frost clothing line? But I think, I, I love making clothes. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Do you sew? Um, I actually don't sew. I design, and I, um, I tackle, you know, what is it when you... See, I love that. We put things together. That. I do that. Yeah, I love this. I love Thank you. Yeah. Love yeah. So before I ask me, my skeleton is that I wear this on Saturday. <laughs> oh, okay. So, well, here you go. Thank you. All right. And we will go <laughs> and polyfrost.com. And stay tuned for all of Polly's fun things. Thank you so much. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. We'll be back. We'll be back. Yeah. Big world. In a perfect world. Everybody.